Well, there's been a lot of first days this month. This, of course, is often referred to back to school, but today marks a special first day for New Six anchor Lisa Bell. It's a full circle moment. The Boys and Girls Club <laughs> has always held a special play in, place in Lisa's heart, and now this former club member mm -hmm. is on the board of directors for Central Florida. We are so happy to have Lisa with <laughs> us this morning. Lisa, I forgot you were coming in until I came in the yes. green room and you were there. Had to Good, check morning. My watch. Good morning. Good <laughs> morning. Fabulous to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And for people who don't know, I mean, you, this, the Boys and Girls Club has played a very big role in your life. It has been a part of my life since I was about seven years old. I first joined the Boys and Girls Club, started out playing sports. It was kind of like an after-school weekend type thing, and it evolved over the years. And I tell everyone everywhere I go, Look at there you. are some pictures. Oh. Um, <laughs> Hello, Henry. <laughs> yes. So yeah. uh, I tell everyone, though, Aww. everywhere I go, I would not be doing what I am doing today. I would not be a news anchor if it were not for the Boys and Girls Club. So after kind of growing up in my local club, they, they have scholarship programs. They have so many different programs. I was able to apply for a scholarship. It paid for my college education. Wow. After that experience, I was speaking at a Boys and Girls Club event when a news director approached me and asked me if I wanted to be a weathercaster. At the time, I was a finance major in college. So it completely changed the trajectory what? of my life. Yeah. So. Now I'm here today. <laughs> and, so, and so what's the, what's the big title? So okay, so the entail? Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Florida, I've been involved with them over the years, but they reached out to me a few months ago and asked me if I would be willing to join their board of directors, which is a wonderful honor and a great opportunity. And so I absolutely said yes. And so today is our very first board meeting where I will be attending. Very exciting. Um, and basically my goal is and my hope is, is to just kind of to try and elevate the Boys and Girls Club in Central Florida, let people know what's going on in the club, mm -hmm. how they can help. They serve 10,000 kids in our community every year. There are clubs all across Central Florida, and there are so many ways that people can get involved. They can donate. They can volunteer their time. Or if they know of a child between the ages of 6 or 18, they can go there and get involved and uh, get some great services. So. When I was in the store yesterday, they, they asked on the prompt if you would like to give to the Boys and Girls Club. So when you're giving these donations, it really does make a difference it in makes a local youth huge lives. Huge difference. The Boys and Girls Club has been around for decades, all across the country, really all across the world. And they have statistic after statistic that shows that they really get results because they invest in education, they invest in after school programs, they help kids with tutoring, teaching. So here are some of their stats with how they have gotten results. And this is just in Central Florida. Last year, 98% of their high school seniors graduated. 90% went on to post-secondary education. Uh, they are helping their kids get scholarships. I was one of them. I got an Oprah Winfrey $25,000 <laughs> scholarship. You really? Yes. This is more than 20 years ago. So back then, that paid for four years of college for me. Um, so they really uh, help our kids all across Central Florida. Helping homework as well. Look at they that. Do. Yeah. They do. They do. And I know um, we have featured a lot of uh, great programs that they do. Ginger Gadsden was recently at one of their newest mm -hmm. clubs talking about how they are teaching kids their ballet. So a lot of these things that kids couldn't otherwise afford to do, they are able to go there and get. They do ballet. They do art classes. They do computers. They do workforce training. They do literacy, tutoring, math tutoring. Whatever you may think that your child needs, call the Boys and Girls Club, and they can probably uh, meet yeah. that need for you. So. What are you most excited about? Uh, I think just being able to share their stories with so many people, because a lot of people really don't know about the mm -hmm. Boys and Girls Club, even though it's been in our community for 75 years and, and really around the world for even longer than that. So I think just telling people what's available. Um, I was at Fun Spot the other day because my mm -hmm. kids love to go to Fun Spot and I ran into a group of kids from the Boys and Girls Club who were able to go there as part of like a summer program. So I just think that they have so much to offer that people don't know about. Mm -hmm. And they are making big changes in our community and really helping our community in so many ways. So if more people are aware of that and can help support that, I think that's great. And how can, so, how can people help? How can people get involved? Go online. They are looking for volunteers. They are looking for financial contributions. You can go to uh, their website, and you can give your – just look them up um, online. You can give them a call. There are many, many ways you can get involved, whether it's volunteering your time or donating some money. Every little bit helps. So every day they are giving these kids meals. They are giving them after-school mm -hmm. snacks. They are paying for tutors. They are paying for staff. So anything you can do, um, you know, could, could really help them out. Yeah, 
tutors and after school care, that's so expensive. It is it so is. expensive. And for most of these kids, they are going there with, with zero cost to mm -hmm. the families. And many of the kids come from families who earn under $30,000 a year. So it's really needed in our community. And if they can go there and have a safe place to go after school, it's making a big difference. Well, it's so, so great to, to yes, have you yes. on this board now. So I know we'll hear more about the stories yes. and the success stories coming That's out of Boys hope. and Girls. <laughs> yes, we're excited. You're so happy excited. For you. I love yeah. it. I love yeah. to see how excited yeah. you are. It's a great organization. Yeah. So changed my life. Living proof right mm -hmm. here. Yeah. All right. All see right. you at four. Sounds good. <laughs>